The largest cow raising operation on the west coast of the United States sits right next to Interstate 5. Thousands of people drive right by the facility every day. They smell the foul air long before they reach the 800-acre feedlot, where over 100,000 cows are confined at a time. They see the animals standing together in pens of dirt and manure, but what they don't see, because the industry would never want them to see it, is the slaughterhouse, one hour away, where these gentle animals are shot with a captive bolt gun, hoisted, stabbed, and dismembered in a process of systematic violence. Now, DXE has obtained never-before-seen footage from inside the Harris Slaughterhouse, showing shocking cruelty. This is information the public needs to have, especially as the animal exploitation industry seeks to expand throughout California, including the Harris Slaughterhouse in Selma, California, which is currently constructing several new buildings to expand its operations. Harris Ranch boasts that its facilities were designed with input from Temple Grandin, an animal scientist who designed a slaughterhouse with curving chutes to prevent the cows from seeing the danger that lies ahead. But the reality behind this humane washing shows the fear these animals feel every step of the way. Workers use fear to move them along the path. As the cows approach the bolt gun, they often climb on top of the animal in front of them in their desperation to escape. But they are pulled back on the machine and brought forward again. Inside this place of death, there is no escape. Once they are incapacitated, they are hoisted up on shackles and their throats are slit. Blood gushes onto a floor painted red to disguise it. But some of the cows have their throats slit before they are stunned, while they are fully conscious. These cows have their heads locked in place, so they cannot get away while their throats are slit. It just depends what the customer wants. The experience of the victims is not what matters to the industry. Every step of the process shows us that what matters to the industry is profit starting here at a dairy farm in California, one of many farms sending animals to Harris. When mother cows have male babies who won't produce milk, the calves are placed in tiny hutches, isolated from their families on a mass scale, and eventually shipped to Harris to become beef. Harris will send these cows to slaughter when they're just two years old, though they would naturally live 20 years or longer. The profit motive has corrupted our relationship with nature and forced sentient beings into a machine where they don't fit or belong. But there is a movement growing in response. Activists up and down the state of California are going to the front lines of animal cruelty to demand no more factory farms. We are calling for an immediate moratorium on the construction and expansion of factory farms and slaughterhouses, and we need your help. Join the campaign at nomorefactoryfarms.com.